There were some concerns, some issues with some of them. Yeah, and, and I, I know. I think Greg gave you a list of the issues. And Greg, you probably could talk about this one because this, Greg, I think is who asked yeah, you Greg. to pull the item. Thanks, Mr. Yeah. Actually, I think Mr. Fiorini pulled this one and the other one. Oh, yeah, Joe, it's uh, 43 and number 145. Uh, both are similar, and it has to do with a question about the appropriateness of supplemental water versus some other term water. Thank you, Randy. I mean, basically, uh, Greg's law and state and federal contractors. Again, this was proposed additional language. Um, and while this is one of those issues where technically um, the word is correct, um, and as Joe said, the websites talk about it and what have you, but the implication of the language and the context of where it is in the narrative um, of typical reader will read that as if this language, be, the water being quote unquote supplemental is somehow extra and not really required or necessary. And as you know, many agencies that receive water from the state and federal contract projects, um, some, um, yes, it might be supplemental, for example, Kurt Aaron's left, it might be supplemental to Zone 7's water supply, but that supplement is 80% of their water supply. Um, so it's really not something they can live without. Uh, and so well, we didn't quite understand why um, it was necessary to add this and that we thought that it added um, confusion, if you will, to a lay reader that would interpret this somehow as to mean you shouldn't worry about reducing these water supplies because they're just supplemental. They're just extra. Uh, and in fact, for many, many agencies, they're not extra in the sense that uh, normal usage would indicate. So, so that's a, our a summary would be the Department of Water Resources does refer to them as supplemental water, but the districts who receive the water think it's really important they continue to receive it. Well, no. The, the, the issue is, again, how would this be interpreted by the reader um, looking at that terminology and that, yes, it is supplemental. I mean, it is supplemental to Zone 7, to use them as an example. Right. Um, but it's supplemental to the tune of 80% of their water supply. And, and, so and, that's, that's just a problem of interpretation of how someone's going to read this. And again, and I don't have the, the doc, I can pull the document in front of me, but in terms of where this falls and the other item where it falls in the discussion within the plan, it's sort of talking about why, you know, we get reduced reliance and there's this, um, there's other places in the document talk about, you know, these expectations of deliveries that are unreasonable. Um, and this just adds to that perception that somehow this is extra water and why are folks so concerned about it? Well, well I'm sorry. Go. I, what I was going to say is this falls actually in the introduction chapter, page 15, and I'll read the sentence. It says, some of the agencies have contributed to, to the uncertainty by, by becoming increasingly reliant on set amounts of what were intended to be supplemental supplies. And this only appeared because we, we actually had inserted by contract, which the original contracts did do, that's been removed from the contracts. We don't think we should add by contract in there. I think staff stands by the fact that uh, we are, that it's a problem that people have become increasingly reliant on what were intended to be supplemental supplies. We think that's a factual statement. It's supported by what agencies say on their websites, what DWR, in fact, continues to call the water. And while I recognize, and I agree with Greg, that people have, that they become almost core supplies for people, that's one of the problems. We have taken what was intended to be a supplemental water supply and made it into a core supply, and I think it's accurate to describe that as part of the problem kind of set, and that's in the section called the Delta Problem. So well, I think that's well again, although my preference would be simply to re remove the terminology, and I understand that, um, it, and if you want to add what well, you just say, well, said. Well, no, let's, it's Ms. Gray's request. Ms. Gray, what would you, what, 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 you're requesting the language be removed. Yes. That Mr. Zlot yes. has identified. Okay, yes. that's a motion. Is there a second? Is there a second? Is there a second? Going once, going twice, going three times, motion has no second. Thank you. May I speak on the item? Well, wait a minute. Well, no, just to... to I mean, no. what, what? Well, no, I was going to offer a suggestion that might solve the problem. 
Okay. Okay. Joe just described what is the case in, in terms of the accuracy, saying that what's happened is these have become, for many agencies, core supplies, and in the interpretation of staff and seemingly the council, that is a problem that you're trying to address. Adding that language at the, where you describe supplemental supplies, indicating that would at least put in context the use of the word. And so it would set, suggest that you add, we're intended to be supplemental supplies, but in many instances have become core supplies, um, I think would clarify the entire context of the conversation. So I would put that out there if anybody wanted to pick that up. Well, 